I'm Mika Abdallah, and I'm here to talk about why smart girls are cool. Hey guys, it's Kirby. Welcome back to Pretty Unfiltered. Today's guest is the star of the show, the Netflix show, Project MC Squared. It's Mika Abdallah. So let's talk about your background okay. because on Project MC Squared, you do play a smart woman, mm-hmm. but you're actually really smart in real <laughs> life too. Yeah, I've just always really been very, very into math. Like mm-hmm. I did algebra two and geometry the same year. I finished math, like all my math sophomore year of high school. Yeah, girl. So this is always something I've really loved. So you just figured out that this was a strength for you and you yeah. really went for it. How did it become a passion for you? I started to really like it when I was, you know, in second grade. Were you ever teased for being smarter than other people in your class or, or just liking math? It wasn't as much teased as like I didn't have anybody to like relate to. I didn't feel like there were as many girls that were as into math. And even if they were, they definitely didn't embrace it and I definitely didn't know about it. Yeah, so in Project MT Squared, there's STEAM, right? And it's science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics, right? Okay, so you are a big proponent of this. Why do you think it's important that females really embrace a a career in one of these fields? Honestly, why not? Like if, (laughs) if, if girls can be, you know, fashion designers and, you know, girls can be, you know, makeup artists and girls can be, you know, whatever, then why can't a girl be a scientist? Why can't a girl be an engineer? Why can't a girl be a mathematician? There's nothing saying that we can't, so why not give it a shot? But why do you think women are outnumbered by men in these fields? I think it's because women feel like they can't really express themselves in those fields, like in math and science, without feeling less feminine or Mm. just feeling like it's not very cute and feeling like it's not very girly, feeling like, you know, it's not cool. So let's talk about Project MC Squared because it's a really amazing show and I think it's super empowering. How did you take one of your passions and something that you were good at, math, and bring that into another passion of yours, which was acting? I think, honestly, I just got really lucky that this show has a lot of amazing messages, like from diversity to, yeah. you know, this whole women in STEAM. Like, it's it's incredible. What would you say to someone who really wants to cultivate um, their passion? It could be mathematics, it could be art, it could be anything, mm-hmm. dance even. What could they be doing to really bring that to life later on. Honestly, if you're passionate about something, just do it. (laughs) Like, just go for it. Just give it a shot. Because, like, you know, nothing happens right away. Like, I've been acting for 10, 11 years now, Mm -hmm. and I didn't book my first, like, major movie until, you know, maybe four years ago. And then finally, what is the best piece of advice that you've ever been given? Honestly, I I think the best piece of advice I've ever been given is fake it till you make it. Yes! Because it's true. One day you'll just, you'll you'll wake up and you'll see, oh, hey, I'm actually here. Awesome, Mika, thank you so much for being here. Let's tell everyone where we can find you on the internet. On Instagram. (laughs) I am, I think, Mika.Abdalla. And on Twitter, I am Abdallah Mika. Guys, let me know what you loved about this interview in the comment section below. Let me know who you want to see on upcoming episodes. You know, we are the show of the people. So we take your advice, we put it into action. So, um, and if you want to keep up with behind the scenes stuff, follow me at Kirby Johnson on Instagram and Twitter and Kirby.Johnson on Snapchat. I do get a little crazy with Snapchat though. So just FYI, Um, uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.